Right, we're building this one now. Um, it's six metres wide and it's 4.1 deep. So, because it's four metres all over, we, we're considering that the five tombs are not sufficiently strong enough to span that distance. And of course, you're building the 2.5, which is your maximum height. So what we're creating, we're creating flitch beams. John wants more real bit to see. Basically, a flitch beam is a piece of steel plate sandwiched between two timbers and bolted. So what will happen then, that flitch beam there, that way, you can see there, the sag in it, but when it's that way, that's the strength in it then. So that won't flex. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop a flitch beam in, we're going to drop a double timber bolted beam in, we're going to drop another flitch beam in, and so on, until we get all to the way to the end. I'll show you now how we're going to make these flitch beams. So as of yesterday, we've got this steel plate, it's 100mm by 10mm, and he's gone down it with the mag drill and drilled a series of holes at 400s, alternated up, down, up, down, all the way along. So what we're going to do, we've set the steel on top of one piece of timber. Adam, come and clamp this for us, please, mate. So Adam's going to clamp the steel so it doesn't move. And what I'll do now, I'm going to go down and I'm going to drill through all of them holes. Did you got it, Adam? Get it back to where it was. Yeah. yeah. So that there now is our first beam drilled. Um, obviously, we don't want to move that steel now because we're going to lose sight of our holes. So what we'll do now, we'll offer this next piece of timber on top of it. Adam, you get it so it's right left, mate. You good there? Yeah? Right, what I'll do now, I'll make sure mine's right. No, you just pulled it then. Are we good? Make sure the timbers are flush. And then what I'm going to do then is drill up through. Like that. Adam's going to drop down then. And we've got these M10 bolts with washers. Once he's got that through, Put that on. We'll use the impact driver on that then. You see there, it's pulled that in and it's clamped that to that. What I'll do now, we're going to go down the timber. I'm going to drill through all the holes and you make sure in that his timbers are flush with each other. So when you'll see now, when I tighten that up now with the impact driver, pull the coach bolt into the wood, which means it's nice and tight for us. Um, what we're going to do then is pull that one. Let's add up that timber's all over the place down there. Let's go and look at it. I know. So, <laughs> so that, that's us full flitch beam. What I'm going to do now, um, I'm, we're going to bolt up a double timber and I'll show you how we're going to get that straight as well. Um, like I say, so if you're building under permitted development, your 2.5 height doesn't allow the correct size timbers for the roof spans. So this gets over that hurdle for you. So it's a 10mm thick plate, it's 100mm wide. We're using coach bolts on it as well. That now provides a strong timber. So what we'll do now, we'll go pop that up in the place and then I'll I'll make a double timber and we'll show you how that's gonna go in as well. You know Adam? No. Are you in? No. Are you in now? No. Get in the walk back. Yeah, I'm in now. Are you in? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm up. 
say go because of the added weight in the building as well what we've done with OSB both sides of this wall to provide more strength the front walls are 5 by 2 so I'm happy with that anyway but this structurally now is a solid wall obviously to carry the extra weight that we're putting in this roof so there, there you go look. so we've got we'll have a single timber there which will be supported off the wall so that'll have no sag flitch beam double bolted timber flitch beam double bolted timber flitch beam and so on as we go down we'll just rotate this one it's the wrong way around the second one is, is it right. I think okay. so what i'll do now i'll show you how we'll make when these double timbers bolted up because obviously the timbers aren't quite straight with each other i'll show you how we twist them to get them right let's change this way again john Obviously with timber being timber, um, one length won't be as straight as the other one. So what we're going to do, we're going to get them both flush there like that. I've then made them both flush there like that. What I'll do, I'll fire two 90mm nails in at a 5 at an angle so we don't want them coming through. What we'll do now then, I'll walk down here and I'll nail these every 400, double nail them. But Adam will move the top timber left and right when I tell him and then I'll make sure that they're both flush and then the... The two timbers will become one beam then. You. Me. Me. You. That's how it. I mean, right, this one here wasn't a very good one to show you to be fair because the, the, the more in line with each other. So what we'll do now then, that's the whole nail, but what we're going to do now is go down and we're going to bolt it as well. Bolt it every 400. You're using this Milwaukee drill. Well, tell me where it is, John. It's a Milwaukee what? M18 F, FPD2, is it? Thank you for the clone, mate. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good bit of gear. It's, that, it's dangerous to put a red ring on it. It's dangerous. Right, what I'm doing here... It's not that dangerous. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to drill three holes in it, and what they're for, they're for our ceiling lights, canopy lights rather. Um, for what? For obviously, we can't do that in the steel, but that'll help us feed it through there. So I'll go down, Adam's going to pop them bolts in behind me. I think possibly the battery's going on this. We're just estimating that one every 400 or so. Like I said, if I'm building this at home for myself, I wouldn't bother with a flitch beam because I know my double timber will be more than sufficient, but obviously with it being a commercial project, I need it to be bulletproof, which it will be. Um, so once he's got them in now, we're going to rotate that over and what he'll do now, he'll go down there and he'll drop a washer and a nut on them and he'll try and keep up. He's shaking his head in despair, isn't he John? Have a look at him. Look. <laughs> he feels under pressure. We'll go down with the grinder because obviously we're using the same length, the same length bolts as we're using for the flitch things. But obviously these have got an extra 10 mil on them because we haven't got a piece of steel in the middle. So what we'll do then? We'll go down with the grinder and whip the remainder. So in my mind, the flitch beams, the flitch beams super strong so what we're doing we're, we're popping them in every other one Adam will you follow me down mate stay to leave Either. It's a good solid timber. Um, 
What we're going to do, we're going to carry on with these now. We'll build all these, and tomorrow when we're back on site, we'll actually construct the roof as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to get these built, get them up on roof, then we're going to go home. So if you'd like to watch for tomorrow as well, you'll see the rest of the roof built. I mean, it's supposed to snow in the morning, but we'll just finish on that. Um, and that's it. So see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. If you'd like to like, subscribe, and follow, and leave a comment, that'd be great. And we'll see you tomorrow, and happy Easter, everybody.